Hey everyone, this is Vinny from Ari. In this video, I'm going to be talking about using layers in 3ds Max. So I just have this basic bar scene open here and I've removed a few of the walls just so we can see the items within it a bit more clearly. Now we can activate layers in 3ds Max by pressing on our toggle layer explorer button, which is going to be located in the toolbar at the top of our Max window. So we'll just press that and it should open up on the left side of your screen. Now, if you're looking at a blank max file, you'll probably only see this zero default layer. That's the layer created by default in 3ds Max. I kind of use that as a working layer, so I'll throw anything that I'm working on in there, and I'll just usually keep that visibility turned off. And you turn off the visibility of layers in 3ds Max just by pressing this little eye icon right next to the layer name. So layers in 3ds Max work similar to layers in Photoshop or even could be compared to folders within your file explorer. They're basically containers that you can place objects within your scene in to organize them as well as place other layers within other layers to create more levels of organization. So for example, I have this bar layer here and within it I have other layers that contain all of the other objects within my bar scene so I can turn off the visibility of this bar layer and everything goes away. Now layers, you can double click on them to select objects within your scene. So for example, I can double click on my bar stools layer, and that's going to select all the bar stools within my scene. I could also select an object within my scene, and that's going to highlight the layer that those objects are on. Now by default in 3ds Max, when you click on a object within your scene, it will both highlight your layer as well as expand that layer. I have that functionality turned off. To edit that, that's going to be in the display within your layer explorer and then auto expand to selection. So you can uncheck that or check it on depending on what you want. So as you can see here, as I click on varying objects, it's going to expand that layer in which those objects are located. Now, the reason I have that auto expand turned off is because if I select a lot of objects within my scene and if I don't click out of this, what will happen is that all of those layers in my scene will be expanded and I'll have then a tough time navigating around my layer explorer. Now there is functionality within the layer explorer to collapse all of your layers. And if you go to display collapse all, that'll collapse everything. So that'll close all of those layers. You can also expand layers here. So by going to display expand all, that'll expand all your layers. You can also expand and collapse a selected layer. So I can go to expand selected for my bar back layer. Then I can go to collapse selected to collapse that layer back down. So let's just talk about now how we create layers in 3ds Max. So the easiest way to create a layer is by clicking on the layer that you want that new layer to be created in. So for example, I want a new layer to be created in my bar layer. What I'll do is press the create new layer button here, and that'll create a new layer. What I can do is select once on that layer to be able to rename it. So let's label this bar underscore bottles here because I'll move these bottles into that layer to demonstrate that functionality. Now to delete an empty layer in Max, what you can do is right click on that layer and press delete and that'll delete that layer. You can also create a layer by right clicking and pressing create layer. And that's going to create a new layer within whatever layer you have selected. Now to move objects from one layer to another, so for example, these bar bottles are in my bar back layer, I have a few options here. I can do a click and drag. So if I click on my items here, let me click on one that's very low in the stack because obviously I have to drag it down. So I'm just gonna click and drag these all the way down to my layer one, just like that. So now those objects are now in that layer one as opposed to that bar back layer. Now, obviously that's not the most effective way of moving objects from one layer to another. I'm just going to control Z here. So undo functionality does work with layers, which is really great. So what you can do to quickly move objects from one layer to another is use this add to active layer button. Now active layers in 3ds Max are represented by this green stack next to the layer name. So you'll see all these gray stacks. The green one is going to be whatever layer you have active. So the active layer works for moving objects from one layer to another. It also is where object creation happens. So if I create a box in my scene, you'll notice that it will create in my active layer. Alternatively, if I have this layer turned off, 
and I create a box, I'll get an, a warning that says objects cannot be created in hidden layer. So I either have to unhide it or not create that object. So to move an object from one layer to another using that active layer button, I'll just click on the object that I want. I'm just going to duplicate it in place because I'm going to demonstrate how to delete layers as well. So I'll press Control V here. And that's going to create a new object. And then what I can do is press this Add to Active Layer button. OK, great, just like that. Now to rename a layer when you've already created it, you just have to slow double click on it. And I'll just rename this bar bottles. OK, so before I move on to deleting layers, let's just talk about how we can create a new layer with objects already in it. So if you select objects within your scene and just click on the layer that you want your objects to be created. So why don't we turn off this bar back layer here and I'm going to select these objects. What I can do is control click on this bar bottles layer. So my new layer will be created there. And if I press my create new layer button, what's going to happen is that a new layer is going to be created within that layer I had selected. So the bar bottles layer and all of those objects are going to move from that one layer to another. So you'll see here I have all those bar bottles within this new layer 001. So if you click on an object in your scene and then press create layer, all of those objects will be moved to that newly created layer. So let me just label this bar bottles 2. OK, and we can move layers up in the hierarchy simply by clicking on them and dragging them to the part of the hierarchy that we want. So if I click and drag this to the bar layer here, you're going to see it moves out of that bar bottles layer and moves into the bar layer. I can also drag this all the way out just by dragging it to this open space down here. And that's going to be on the same level with my default layer there. I can also, let me just drag this back. If I right click on this bar bottles layer, the second one, and I go to unnest, that's going to unnest that all the way to the top of the hierarchy with the default layer there. Okay, let me just drag this back. So now you see here I have the bar bottles two and the bar bottles on separate layers. So if I right click on the bar bottles layer, I'll be able to delete that because it is an empty layer. However, if I right click and click delete on this bar bottle two, which which contains all my items here, you'll see I won't be able to delete that layer. That's because to delete a layer with items within it, you have to go to your delete layer and all children's button here. So it's going to delete the layer and all the objects within it. So let me just turn back on our bar back layer there. OK, so just some last things. You can freeze your layer and the objects within it by pressing on the snowflake. You can also edit the properties of a layer all at once by clicking on that layer and right clicking and going to properties. And now we can edit the properties similar to our object properties if we were to click on an object within our viewport. Layers also work with renderers such as V-Ray. You can use the layers as mass for your render to only render particular parts. So that covers the basic functionality of layers in 3ds Max. In future videos, we'll go into more advanced topics of how we can use layers in particular situations. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out our YouTube channel where we have tips, tricks, and tutorials on CG visualization software such as V-Ray, 3ds Max, and Rhino. You can also check out our school and website at ari.school where we teach in-person and online courses on CG visualization topics such as architectural rendering, product rendering, and much more. Again, this has been Vinny from Ari, and I hope to see you in another video.